So this is a really quick tip that relates directly to Apache web servers. If you're using Nginx, you can go ahead and look this up. But since Apache is so popular, I'm going to focus on creating an HT access file to prevent viewing a directory on a web server as you can see it right now. So you might not think this, this is a problem. Obviously, if we have maybe all PHP files stored, no one can actually access them. But what you don't want is people going through and seeing everything within a particular directory. If you're working with a framework, this is a lot different because you'll have your root pointing at, uh, say, a public directory, which would then not allow access to anything else because it's outside of the, uh, of the scope of access of your page. However, uh, it's important to kind of get these tips down just in case you are setting up your own application structure. So let's get going then. What we're going to do is we're going to disable the viewing of this kind of uh, directory listing. And this is uh, particularly important. Let's say we have an index file in here. Obviously, now this won't be a problem because what Apache will do is it will see that there's an index.php file in there and it will, it will serve that. However, if we have, say, other directories within our uh, server, so for example, app, and then maybe we have a database.php file, really, really whatever, it doesn't really matter too much, then anyone can actually see the directory listing of this. So how do we disable this? Well, it's pretty simple. What we need to do is create an HT access file. Now, there are ways of preventing this via your Apache configuration. But if you're porting your project around, it's better to have an HT access file in here, which will actually prevent this uh, regardless of where you're uploading your project to. So this is really simple. It's a one liner. All we need to do is say options minus indexes. So what that's going to do then is if we just delete this index.php file, you'll see if we head back to the main directory, we get a forbidden here. And if we open up our element inspector and head over to network, you can see that we get, when we refresh, a 403 forbidden. So this is forbidding us to view this directory, but does this recurse through to other directories in our website? Well, let's take a look. If we go over to app, you can see that we are now also forbidden from viewing any uh, subfolders. And just for good measure, let's go ahead and create a new folder inside of app. Let's call it config. And let's see if we can access that as well. So we go over to config and you can see that we can't do that either. So that's a really quick tip then just for Apache web servers where we want to disable the directory list view of any of our directories.